The Art of Leaving by Ayelet Sabari is it's a book about about loss. It's a book about yearning. It's a book about seeking home. There's this beautiful sort of architecture to the book. It's very artfully crafted in in its overall structure and also sentence to sentence is a beautiful read. She's one of the most honest nonfiction voices I've read in a long time. She just is able to you know, not reduce the experience to just one thing or the other, but to allow for the full complexity of her experience. She compassionately unpacks and descri describes her, her own uh, imperfection in a, in a way that, um, that really moved me as a, as a fellow human, trying to figure it all out. Hylette Sabari's The Art of Leaving stayed with me for days, maybe weeks afterwards. It's, it was a haunting story. I wanted, I wanted to know what she's doing now. What, you know, what's happening to her now? For years, my affair with Canada remained as casual, casual and, and non-committal non as my romantic entanglements. I owned next to nothing, so I could pick up and leave at a moment's notice. Lived in apartments furnished with milk crates I'd covered with sarongs. Slept on foamy mattresses thrown on the floor. Home was transient, constantly shifting.